when Bradford was born, um, I think he was basically like my real live baby doll. Um, so yeah, having younger brothers has always been fun, but really all I ever wanted was a sister. Uh, but now I realize that God gave me the perfect sister at the exact right time. You're so laid back and you balance Bradford out so well because that is not him. And I love you both. I wish you a lifetime of happiness. And I can't wait to see what life has in store for you. This was by far the hardest card to write between the three because you have become the most important person in my life and to put into words exactly what you mean to me is impossible. I know there are difficult days, but I'd rather have those days with you than the perfect ones with anyone else. I'm excited to start this journey in life with you and have been since the moment we got together because you not only make my life easier, but you turn the little small moments into memories I'll never forget. Because of you, I'm able to go through life every day hopeful towards the future we have together. Love your husband. Bradford. Bradford, I saved writing your letter for last because it's the easiest. Loving you is easy. I always wondered who I would spend the rest of my life with. I used to say I wanted to know who my person would be ahead of time to save myself the years of heartbreak, but I've never been more thankful that all those years led me to you. Blessed are those who wait, right? You're everything I need in a man. I promise to be a light in your life and always show you the good in the world. I'm crazy about you, Bradford James Smith, and I can't wait to build this life with you. I'd like to welcome all of you here today. I want to say thank you so much for being here on behalf of Kate and Bradford and the Smiths and the Sooks. I know they are pleased that you're here. Believing that Kate and Bradford desire to become one in seeking the leadership of the Lord gives me my great pleasure to ask who gives this woman well, to be... Her mother Okay. Real quick, right? I accept you as my wife. I accept you as my wife. With your strengths. With your strength. And your weaknesses. And your weaknesses. Kate, I will be loyal to you. Kate, I will be loyal to you. In health or illness. In health or illness. To share what I have. To share what I have. And who I am. And who I am. To love enough to risk being hurt. To love enough to risk being hurt. To trust when I misunderstand. To trust when I misunderstand. To weep with you in heartache. To weep with you in heartache. To celebrate life with you in joy. To celebrate life with you in joy. And I receive you as an equal in Christ. And I receive you as an equal in Christ. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. The Son. And the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Bradford, I accept you as my husband. Bradford, I accept you as my husband. With your strengths and your weaknesses. With your strengths and your weaknesses. I will be loyal to you. I will be loyal to you. In health or illness. In health or illness. To share what I have. To share what I have. And who I am. And who I am. To love enough to risk being hurt. To love enough to risk being hurt. To trust when I misunderstand. To trust when I misunderstand. <laughs> to weep with you in heartache. <laughs> to weep with you in heartache. To celebrate life with you in joy. To celebrate life with you in joy. And I receive you as an equal in Christ. And I receive you as an equal in Christ. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. The Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. It is my privilege and honor as a minister of the gospel of Christ, the gospel of grace, and in the authority invested in me by the laws of this state, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Hey, slow down. <laughs> he's, like, he's like your dad, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait till I give you the clue now. I wouldn't have the timing right. You may do something you have never done before, and that's kiss Kate as your wife.
Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you Mr. and Ms. Bradford Smith. Feels like 